Hello and welcome to the 40th tutorial of God of War, Give Me God of War difficulty. I never thought I'd get to number 40, I didn't realise how big this project was when I first died, but here we are. Okay, so when you come over to this centre platform, there are lots of dark elves that you will end up encountering over here. Uh, dark elves, of course, can be hit off the edge. At this point, I'm not really using the tactic to the best of its ability. I will show you in later uh, tutorials that if you run towards them and use... Leviathan's Fury, which is running at them and then hitting R2. That move is really, really good for knocking them off the edge. At this point, I'm still quite new to these fights. They're not too difficult anyway. You can use um, all the things in your arsenal, such as Furious the Ice Troll, Invalids, Anvil. Just use them all. Just take them down. I mean, you can pin them to the side. You can knock them over the edge. Uh, you can really knock them around. You can hit your R3. And at this point, you might see me. I try to turn him at the last second. That's when I learned. There you go, you can kind of turn them a little bit when you're throwing and pinning them. Um, that will do a tiny bit of extra damage to another one uh, if they actually get in the way. The only thing you don't want to happen right now is become overwhelmed by these guys. If that starts happening, just roll away, try to get away from them and try to target one at a time. It's a lot easier. Their stamina bar goes up very fast, so they're very easy to kill. No problem whatsoever here. You and Atreus have come over here. Uh, to try and get through the gate just up there, but the light got stopped and the bridge has n is not there anymore. So now you have to find out what's going on. Okay, so we're just going to take a look at them again so we know exactly which monster we are fighting. I'm going down the list. Look how many monsters there are now. It's amazing, the variety. I'm loving the game so much for having such a vast variety of different enemies and there is the dark elf we don't have any extra information yet but just after the next fight we're going to get some extra information so that's great here we can see the actual objective that we're doing the light of alfheim we're trying to get the light back into the crystal that we have that opens up the gate to another area um, as you can see you get 3000 experience for doing that and obviously this quest chain is one that you have to do for storyline so this is not optional this is a must you must kill these guys so you have to know how to do this now at this point you have to spin these two different um, mechanical wheels I guess levers and it will lift up these giant old ancient ruins from the depths of the water when these come up it will allow you to read some sand on the other port just over there. But once you do one, you get a fight with, guess what? Two more Dark Elves. These Dark Elves are exactly the same. You can hit them off the edge here. Try to aim towards the edge, hit them this way, and hopefully, there we go. You knock them out of the air. Even though they have wings, they die from falling, which is freaking stupid, but we know game logic is a thing, and in this game, there is a lot of game logic. This game is fantastic. But of course, every game has these things where even if you have wings, you can die from falling off the edge. Anyway, very, very easy fight. Again, Dark Elves, that is how you take them down. If you see an edge, knock them towards it. we got a tiny bit of extra information here. Check that out, guys. SMCP out.